Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in my previous video, I have showed the design of the cassette feeder. So this is the, the one. Um, I have been using it for a while and it has been uh, very handy to me and it's a uh, small form factor can uh, can also hold a uh, lot of components inside. And then um, I just use it to place some boards and that's um, very good so far. Um, but also after some time of usage, I also realized there are something I want to improve. So um, the thing is, um, whenever I place up the components here, <clears throat> I need to then pull out the components and then I need to cut it away. And then I need to also um, remove the plastic cover here so that um, um, I can expose the components uh, in, uh, under that. And then um, also um, this design, it has uh, some space because you need to um, fit the different size of the components. For example, like O201, it has a very thin um, strip here. And the thickness is very small, but then if you have O402, uh, uh, then the thickness is increased. So in order to adapt that, this one, um, the space uh, cannot be too tight. So it has some space. So when you put in this um, O201, there will be some space. So it will go uh, down a little bit. That makes it um, um, easier to for the component to, to bounce away. So this is um, one of the, the things I want to improve as well. So basically with that, um, I try to come up with a design that um, I don't need to basically cut it all the time. I don't want to cut it all the time because it takes a lot of time. And I also don't want to remove the uh, plastic cover because uh, um, if, if you don't remove well, then sometimes it will uh, cause the component also to bounce up. So this is also um, time consuming. So um, therefore I came up with a new design. Um, basically it's this one. So what you can see, there is a trimmer here. So you can basically rotate. And then um, the idea is basically when I pull in the components, then I can just uh, use this trimmer to um, basically rotate and then remove the plastic cover. And in the meantime, it also push the components forward. And then I also don't want to cut because I don't want to cut the, uh, the strip. Therefore, I designed it a return pass here. So as you can see, there's a return pass here. So whenever we um, push the components forward, then the use the one will come to this pass and then later it will come out from here. Then I can cut it here. And then in the meantime, when it's moving um, forward, then this um, uh, the plastic cover will be also collected in here. And then the other thing is for different thickness of the strip. Um, I have designed it a, a mechanism. If you can see here, they are um, like a clip which uh, push down the um, this part, the, the upper part. So when there is a different um, thickness of the strip going in, then it will make sure that it's pushed down. So it, it just uh, push that into this uh, surface. So um, they also make it um, um, flat and also not easy to, to bounce off. So with this uh, improvement, then um, it will be more stable. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how this works. So I have um, uh, cut a strip of O201 and then um, I will then insert it into, into this one. And then um, usually I just uh, take a, a tweezer to get put it in, it will be um, easier for the uh, for the tweezers. Okay, so this now the you can see the components already in here, and then I just uh, then need to get the uh, the plastic cover up. Not sure if you can you can see that. So now you can see the the plastic cover is being pulled up a little bit. And what I need to do is basically I just need to uh, put uh, this plastic cover into into the space here. Okay, now you can.
can see, I just uh, put it uh, put the plastic cover here. Um, as you can see here, uh, I have leaf like a two. I have leaf two opening here. So it's um, just to make uh, the plastic um, cover able to go in here. And then what I can do now is basically I can start rotating. Yeah, here, I don't know if you can see that. So basically when I'm rotating, the, the strip is actually moving forward. Um, maybe like, like this. When I'm moving and the strip is moving forward. And you can see the O201 components are actually stay inside pretty nicely. And then I just, uh, yeah, there are some, some frictions just to make sure it's uh, stable. So, and then you can keep rotating. And then this uh, use the part is coming, is going from this path. Um, if I'm moving here, you can see the use part is moving up. So whenever you place some of them, some of the components, then you just rotate this one, and then the use part will then be pushed forward. And then later you can see now it's coming out from here. It's coming out from here. So when you when you used up all the components, it's actually going out. And then what you, what you can do is uh, you can just pull out and then this uh, plastic puck you can you can get it off so yeah this is basically how it works and this is so far this is still um, under optimizing because um, the friction I have is uh, still a little bit bigger so I want the friction to be lower so it's easier to to rotate um, and I will keep optimizing this one to make it easier to use. Um, but uh, I will put it out um, into the into my website and also the GitHub. And you can download it and print it out and try it out. In the meantime, if you have an idea to improve, you can also leave in the comment and I will try it out. Um, so, but before uh, end of this uh, um, video, I also want to say that if you have um, the um, different type of the 3D printer. You can also uh, share with me the, the the dimensions of the hot end bed, like here, this one. So basically, the the screw, the position of the screw. So I will um, I will actually make the model, and then I will also upload it to my website and also share it on the GitHub so that uh, everybody can use. So yeah, that's basically it and thanks for watching. If you see my uh, video is uh, helpful to you, so uh, you can like and subscribe. So um, see you next time. Bye bye.